Hey guys, I just tried to do an unboxing video from my succulents that I got from Mountain Crest Gardens and I thought I was recording and I wasn't so now I've got everything out of the box. Um, this is all the stuff I got from Mountain Crest and then I wanted to show you a couple other things I got. Um, so what I'm going to do is just go through them and show you what I got from there and a couple other finds that I found um, today at some places. So. First one on my list, I'm really excited about all these. These are so great. I've wanted all these and I'm adding them to my collection. So this one is called Water Ripple. It's really pretty. It's gonna be ripply the bigger it gets. It should get pretty big, I think. Um, it looks great. It's now Some of these still have dirt on them, but that's okay. Um, but Water Ripple, I saw it um, on their website and I knew I had to have it. So these are in two inch pots, so they're tiny right now, but they'll get bigger. Um, I have definitely wanted one of these. This is Violet Queen, and I noticed that she is making some babies. So there's one, and if you look kind of, where is it? In there, it looks like there's quite a few babies coming out. So I can't wait to repot her and see what happens. She's a Violet Queen, so she is in the collection now. And I got an Echeveria Hercules. Um, it doesn't look that great right now. I mean, it's healthy, but I've seen pictures of them when they color up, and when they color up, they are really pretty, so it's healthy. Um, I just want it to be really brightly colored, so we will see how that happens, and uh, I'll have to post an update on that. Um, <clears throat> this is one of my favorites that I got from this uh, order. This is an Echeveria Princess Blue, and it's kind of hard to tell from the video. Um, but she is purpley and blue and green. She probably looks mostly green in this video. Um, there's a little bit of bruising, but she'll get over it. So Princess Blue. I've got this one right here. So this is a giant blue and it's very frilly and I can't wait for this one to get big. It's supposed to get really big, I think. So giant blue. I don't think these bigger ones make pups usually. I think you just have to behead them. Um, but it looks really good and new growth looks great. So kind of reddish, bluish, green. I think it's going to get more blue the more it's out in the sun. Um, and of course I had to add this to my collection because I don't have one yet. This is an Echeveria Colorada. Um, and it's kind of growing in a square and I've got to still shake the dirt out of here. but. I knew I needed a colorata and looks quite a bit like my azulita um, with the red tips, but I think that'll change once it's out in the sun. Um, I did order two larger ones. So these are in a four inch pot, but they sure do seem big. I mean, cause look at my hand I and mean, they're big. Um, this is my blue prince. So it looks like blue prince is making a bloom stock, although I wish it was a pup. Um, you know, I like pups. A little bit of damage on the outside, but um, it looks good right here and it will get really pretty once I repot it. And then this has been on my wish list for a while. This is an afterglow and she looks a little, a little shaken up, but you know, I'm not worried about it. I know I can nurse her back to health and she will be really, really pretty. So this is pretty big, so she'll she'll bounce back quick, I think. Um, so anyway, those are all the ones that I got from Mountain Crest, and I want to say I spent maybe mm, maybe forty dollars on all of them plus shipping. Um, I can't really remember, but maybe I can update it when I actually do the video and put something down below as to what I paid, but. Um, they were really good prices, and um, I'm in love with all these. I, I think my favorite ones are probably um, Princess Blue, this Roughly Giant Blue, Water Ripple, and Afterglow, just because I've wanted that for so long. So I will have to post an update of what they look like after they kind of get settled in the greenhouse. So anyway, I'll definitely do that in the future. Um, and then I wanted to show you some other stuff that I got. So I went to Walmart um, the other day. I like to check out what they have, but they usually don't have anything good. Um, and if they, you know, if they did have anything good, it's usually half dead. So 
Um, I did buy two half dead plants from Walmart. Um, I bought this Mangave blood spot, so it's not looking great on the outside. Lots of dead leaves, some broken leaves, but I'm looking for another Mangave and I found this one. So I think once it gets established, it will recover nicely. And you know, it's not half dead, but um, this other one, <clears throat> this other one is a little bit, a little bit sadder looking. It's another raindrops and I don't know why I just love the raindrops. Um, and plus this one had a pup and I knew if I didn't get it, it would just die or get thrown away. So, oh my goodness, it's so sad. It's been broken, lots of dead leaves. Um, the new growth does look promising. I don't know if I want to behead it or if I want to just let it grow out for a while and see what happens. But there's a few little raindrops there and they're, they're still cute. I love it anyway. Sometimes, you know, you like to nurse plants back to health. Um, I bought this one today at Lowe's. This is a Semper Vivum Devil's Food, Pacific Devil's Food. And I actually bought this for a friend who really loves Semper Vivums. Um, but I just thought it was cool. It kind of looks like my Calcerium. Um, and it's already uh, got three, three of them in there. So I had to buy it. And of course, you know, I love kiwis. This one was so bright and pretty and cute and it had two babies. And my plan for this is to keep this one in the house so that it doesn't get exposed. Oh no, it, yeah, it's got three babies. Um, anyway, I'm gonna keep this one in the house so it doesn't get exposed to the extreme heat we've been having. Um, we've been having close to 100 degrees uh, temperature Fahrenheit um, so I know they're dormant in the summer but I'm hoping that this one will stay really pretty because I think the growers don't really let them go through a winter um, sorry if you hear any scratching I closed the door to my room and now my dog is wondering what I'm doing so she's just scratching at the door um, anyway I had to buy these two beautiful Echeveria Chromas. These were also at Lowe's. Um, I have a couple Chromas already, but none that were colored like this. Okay, I'm going to let the dog in because this is going to get annoying. Well, hey there. Are you coming in? This is Moxie, my Shiba Inu. Okay, she just wants to know what I'm doing. So I've got this beautiful chroma right here. And then I went ahead and bought another one for my friend. Um, I thought they both looked pretty good. Yeah. Oh, she wonders, what is that? No, you are not eating that. Uh-uh. No way, baby girl. Okay, so anyway, this is what I got, and I'm going to have to probably end the video because someone is a little too interested in what I have, but I wanted to show you guys everything I have and do a video on it, so I missed the unboxing, but now you see what I have, and I'm going to add it to my collection, and soon I'll do a greenhouse tour update, so talk to you later, and if you like this video, please subscribe or comment. Bye-bye.